Hello guys, and welcome back, Relasoptop! We had to abandon Mexico, but don't worry. Now, we invade Alaska. We go to Alaskan Independence Day. It's like, it shouldn't be part of the United States. It's like, most of the United States in size, if it wasn't cut off by uh, the top there. So, yeah. Uh, we got like less than a week. I've decided that the first people going in will be not the Hungarians, not the British, but the successful invaders of Great Britain. Gonna have a small force go in first, followed by probably the Hungarians, then uh, the British or the Scottish, and then the main army. And then, hopefully by then, we'll uh, be somewhat into Canada. And that's hopefully along, a lot of hopefullys, I note that, uh, hopefully along with the Alaskan American uh, separatists. So... If that fails, we're gonna have to go for the Canadian Revolution, and that'll take, like, another year. And if that fails, then we're just gonna have to try and get peace sorted out. But it'll happen... NOW! FREE AMERICAN EMPIRE! Yes, they've begun, uh, they successfully staged a coup in the United States. The fires of revolution now burns! Free American, uh, empire... The Free American Empire, it's called one United States. Uh, right, so it's nowhere else. It is just in Alaska. We have to wait for them to join. What a man. The Silver Legion of America. Those Alaskans were always fascist and right-leaning, weren't they? Now, hopefully... Oh, there's already... Okay, they've joined the Axis. Wow, they have a lot of troops. Wow, they have a lot of troops. We did supply them with a load of weapons, though. We did, like commits a lot of uh, guns to them. So they have a massive army, massive navy as well. Okay, Alaskans. We'll be there. We're sending our finest Bulgarian general. Although, geez, you haven't... You've only got 54% fighting strength. Really? Okay, we'll scratch that. Jesus, we're... A lot of our troops don't even have full uh, gear. Probably because of the Whole artillery fin, right. So we're gonna send the Hungarians in first. Followed by the Scottish. As soon as the Hungarians actually get there, set up a perimeter. I don't wanna, like, I don't wanna force that many people down there. Although, I guess there's no reason not to. We'll send another. We'll send the, the Scottish in there. They haven't joined the Axis. Well, they've joined the Axis, sorry, but they haven't joined the war. Although I think the wars have just got merged or something at this point. Yeah, they're, they're, they haven't merged it yet, but it's kind of... They're both fighting the same fight. And Canada doesn't have that many troops, so... There's a chance we could just roll over Canada, like right now. So what do you need? You need quite a lot, don't you? Uh, you're missing a bit of infantry equipment. And, uh... That's it, really. Rocket artillery. You're anti-tank, so you got all the men. It's just the, like, anti-tank and stuff. That's it. I've been called in as an ally from the Neo-Ottoman Empire, really. So you, you listen to the Neo-Ottoman Empire, but no one else. I made you! Why? Why won't you listen to me? Whatever. So we got, like, this... We got an Alaskan base way up here. Anyway, where are my Hungarians? They're coming up, right. Might as well follow behind with our smaller force. They may not be at full strength, but that's likely just because they're a bit out of guns, a bit out of other things, other such appliances. But it should all be fine. Well, it probably will never get solved, but at least some of them will have... Some anti-tank and some other stuff will take two years at current capacity. It is increasing, like, all the time. It's always increasing, but it'll take about two years to actually fill that void. Well, until then. I was hoping they would actually launch an offensive, but... Oh, wait, they are. Yeah, there's tank uh, heading into Canadian territory. Canada's quite big. It might take a while to subjugate them. I will give you that. But I'm hoping the Axis will really lay in the men here. There's German troops already on the way, Japanese troops already on the way. And there's definitely 
a lot of Hungarian Bulgarian troops going on there. So the US hasn't responded yet. Not yet. See, now the United States have lost a lot of fascists, because it was like a quarter, now it's only 12%. So I'll have to see how that works out. All the fascists probably migrated to Alaska to fight, because they knew, they all knew, it was like secretly coded, that this is where they, all the fascists should rally to. No, wait, the Canadians tried. We did take a, a chunk of Canada. There's this one, like, Mountie Brigade. Yeah, it's like the Mounties are just here trying to stop them. Northwest Canada doesn't have that many people in there. Well, Hungarians are nearly there. It's, it's taken like a month to cross the ocean, but... Uh, we'll be there soon, hopefully. I'm surprised they're still giving uh, territory to the United Kingdom, because they're dead. Like, they're all hiding out in Canada and America. All the Allied Nations leaders, like, in, like, Washington or something. Bunking out in the White House. See, German forces are already there, helping out. Tanks are hopefully rolling across Canada, or will be. Or something will happen. Or they might just stand there. They might just wait for something to happen. Like us, the Bulgarians come in and do all the work, like always. Okay, uh, Hungarians are here. Let's uh, get the... That is a big river. Let's get the front line set. Get the offensive line set to... Is there a, like a, a fort like that I can take? Edmonton. All right, we'll do, it, we'll do that. That is pretty damn close to America. I want to avoid them, really. Maybe, it, okay, it won't be the Hungarians' job to go to take out Canada. I think they'll leave that to the British. Instead, we'll have the offensive line go to Vancouver, I think. So I want to have an offensive line. Offensive line, Vancouver. And you, you find Scots, where are you going? What is this weird line? Where are you going with that? Hold on, where, where does this go? Who are you? <laughs> okay, so there's just six divisions that didn't leave, apparently, and they're all crawling across the long way round. Okay, fine. You, you do that. And hopefully, I'm only selecting the British here because they got like, at least one truck that can make the journey. Although we are of very low supplies now. Yeah, like terrible supplies. And I'm sending more men that way. Maybe I should hold off on that. Yeah, maybe you should like go home. Uh, like, just go home now. And you... In fact, you should go home. Yeah, this is... I think I've got far too many men. Alaska doesn't have a particularly good supply situation. So Hungarians, instead, we shall take you. We'll take ten of you. Make a new army. And give you a new general. This guy. And his job will be to also be on that front line. And also go to, like, Edmonton. I think that's the four Canadian troops that they was talking about. And that's we're not even go go for the US. Forget the US. The US, we can kill them at any point. Like when the main German army gets here. We can do that then. Until then, you guys, uh, you focus on like going all the way to uh, Ottawa here. Like, you take Ottawa, you take Montreal, that should be it. Uh, if it'll do it. 
So yeah, uh, defensive line, uh, Ottawa. Wow, you're going for the United States to do that. Well, never mind. That offensive line will never work. Instead, offensive line will take a port here. Make sure to take the port. Because God knows we need the extra supplies. Yeah, whatever. Do that. So, uh... Yeah, I guess we're just gonna continue forward then. Might be a bit of a slow invasion. But I hope the rest of Europe will kind of start rallying around us. Okay, so this definitely lies, because it said that, oh, now they got 19 to 34, instead of like 3 to 4. No, they got plenty of troops now. Well, Jap Japan has sent 11, and Germany is sending troops every day, just about. So that's fine. I'm hoping if we're just giving them a point. We said, Germany, you can land here. Hopefully Germany will like, okay, I'll be there. And so will the rest of the Axis, because... God knows, we can't do this on our own. Like, I know we've tried, but to be fair, we're goddamn Bulgaria. We're, we used to be the spit of land in Europe. Now we're, like, the fourth or third largest uh, player in the Axis. Are you? Yeah, you are moving. Are you not, like, strategically deploying or something? Like, why aren't you doing that? Strategically deploy to front line. Okay, that's a different front line. Great. Uh, okay, you guys. Front line. Okay. General, that guy. Strategically deploy. Go. What is going on? Why does it keep doing that? I swear it's like the... Ah, oh, God's sake. I'm bad at the game. I think that, right, that's the one. So... Strategically deploy to this line. Okay? And you guys, strategically deploy to this line. Go. Nope, that just accomplished nothing except resetting your goddamn movement. Great. Just great. Fantastic! At least they're not Bulgarian! They're only Hungarian troops, so we don't have to worry about the defect in our manpower, because I think it's independent. <sighs> Hungary probably has loads of troops anyway. So... It's just equipment that they're losing. Hopefully it gives our men a chance to make their own equipment. Or get the equipment that they need. Yeah, we're, wow, we're almost uh, down to the to final parts of towed artillery. We're just 38, uh, 39 days away from that. That's really impressive. I didn't think we'd ever get to that. Some of this, and the infantry equipment's almost done. Amazing! Wow, might uh, actually fully outfit our army at some point. Well, this will apparently just be the parts. Like, they, they're not... They're taking the sweet time. Is it just infrastructure? It might just be the infrastructure. Like, they can't possibly strategically redeploy because there's no infrastructure. Although, these people appear to be. Just mine aren't. Or are they? They might be. I think they are, yeah. Yeah, they are. Okay, they are. It's just really slow. Because the infrastructure's not there. It's just really not there. Speaking of which, the American Empire's lost. So I'm thinking I make a... Just in case, I start setting up a coup in, like... Uh, where should it be? Which one's this? St. Lawrence. Is there no, like, fascists there? <laughs> uh, New Brunswick, uh, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia. Could do Nova Scotia. You know what? Fine. Nova Scotia. Fascists. Get it going. We'll, 
We'll set up one there. Just in case. A backup. I'm hoping this will work, though. Like, Unfortunately, they have the home field advantage. And they're being led by one of the best generals America has. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 sorry. Wait a minute! Douglas MacArthur is ours? He joined the fascists. He joined the fascists. I was like... Oh, well, they must have Douglas MacArthur. Ah, oh, that's that's a shame. Like, uh, Canada's... Canada's using Douglas MacArthur? That's strange. Uh, well, what about ours? Oh, wait. That's a Canadian. Oh, my God, we got Douglas MacArthur. Uh, right. So, I guess he had fascist sympathies. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Uh, anyway. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed, and next time... We, uh, I'll skip ahead until our men actually get there, or if something interesting happens, like always. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Later, guys.